Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Neil Cassell. Good afternoon, and thanks for the opportunity to present our story. We've got two stories to share with you this afternoon. The first is about this amazing early stage, revolutionary, non-invasive therapeutic technology that has the potential to improve the lives of millions of people around the world with a whole variety of serious medical disorders. And the second is about an organization that we created to move the technology to the point where it can be used to treat these patients in the shortest possible time. So, imagine using sound to convert metastatic cancer from a death sentence to a chronic manageable disorder, or using sound to treat a brain tumor without surgery or radiation therapy or the harmful effects of chemotherapy. Let me show you an example. This is a 64-year-old architect, left-handed, who's been disabled by essential tremor for 10 years, essential tremor being a cousin of Parkinson's disease. And here's his attempts to draw. This is an MR scan of his brain taken before treatment. And the blue dot here is the target of the abnormal nerve cells deep in his brain that are generating the tremor. He went into the device to be treated for about four hours, wide awake, no incisions in the scalp, no burr holes in the skull, no electrodes in the brain, and the target was obliterated with intersecting beams of ultrasound energy. And here is an MR scan taken immediately after the procedure, showing that the target has been completely obliterated. And here he is immediately after the procedure, drawing for the first time in 10 years, and this shows the durability of the treatment three months afterwards. Now you can appreciate that if you can use this technology to treat something in an awake patient with high degree of accuracy and precision deep in the brain, that the technology is likely to be usable for treating things outside of the body, such as tumors of the breast or things in more forgiving locations, such as tumors of the liver. Here's another example. This is a woman with a gigantic uterine fibroid. She was treated in a four-hour session, and nine months later, the tumor had completely resorbed without surgery. So how does this work? Focused ultrasound is the integration of two breakthrough technologies, the first being focused ultrasound, which is used to deliver the energy that treats the lesions in the body. And the second is magnetic resonance or ultrasound imaging, which is used to guide and control the treatment in real time. The fundamental principle of focused ultrasound is analogous to using a magnifying glass to focus beams of light on a point and burn a hole in a leaf. But with focused ultrasound, instead of beams of light, multiple beams of ultrasound energy are focused on a point as small as half a grain of rice deep in the body. And where each of the individual beams goes through the tissue, it has no effect. But where they all converge at the focal point, there are a variety of very interesting biological effects. This, is the, this slide shows the global landscape of research and development and commercialization of focused ultrasound. There's two things that jump out at us. The first is, look at the enormous number of indications. There's more than 40 that are in various stages of research and development and commercialization. And the second thing is, look that most of them are very, very early stage. In fact, today in the United States, only two have FDA clearance for commercial use. One is treatment of uterine fibroids, 
and the other is treatment of pain from bone metastasis. In Europe, in addition, it can be used for treating Parkinson's disease, neuropathic pain, and essential tremor. Now, my credibility is probably dissipated a bit because when you looked at that large number of indications, you said, this guy is selling snake oil. It's good for whatever ails you. However, focused ultrasound has its limitations. It can't be used at this time for lung tumors. Ultrasound doesn't go through air. And leukemia, there's nothing to target. So, because of the potential impact on large numbers of patients, there's a sense of urgency to get the technology to the point where it can be used to treat patients. Because every day that there's a delay results in un unnecessary death and disability and suffering for countless individuals. The problem is, as we know, the development of a medical device from concept to widespread utilization as a standard of care is a glacially slow process. So w seven or eight years ago, when we first got engaged with this uh, technology, we were casting about for a model of how we could accelerate the development. And we couldn't find one. We had to innovate. And that was the genesis of the Focused Ultrasound Foundation which is the second story. So the foundation is the catalyst for the development and adoption of focused ultrasound. The essence of what the foundation does is foster collaboration, collaboration being the stimulus for innovation and the ultimate force multiplier for intellectual capital. Innovation, the creation, the collection, the dissemination and the sharing of knowledge. That's the essence. We were started in October 2006 as a tax-exempt entrepreneurial organization. We are on the leading edge of the venture philanthropy and the social entrepreneurship movements and have become a model of how private philanthropy, individuals' money, can be used in concert with government, industry, and academia to bridge the gap between laboratory research and widespread patient treatment. The, the foundation has exceeded most people's expectations in terms of performance for two reasons. Number one, luck. We got engaged at exactly the right time, fortune. But secondly, the amazing people that are involved with this. At the level of the board of directors, the board of directors, the foundation can go toe to toe with any Fortune 50 company. We have a council, which is the Goodwill SWAT team, which finds individuals of influence who need to hear the story and individuals of substance who can help support the cause. But most importantly, the team is astonishing. It is a group of young, unbounded, highly intelligent, highly educated individuals built with the philosophy that A's attract A's and B's attract C's, and it's essentially all A's today as a result of a rather draconian ongoing reconstructive pruning process. <laughs> These individuals are all athletes. They can play more than one position, and they work in teams that address this portfolio of programs. So here we are today, 2013, most of the indications early stage R&D, and several thousand patients are being treated per year. We can posit that without the foundation, by 2030, all of these indications will be completely developed, and perhaps more, and several hundred thousand patients will be treated each year. At the end of the day, all the foundation is doing is investing money into that portfolio of programs that I showed you that shifts this curve to the left and improves the lives of millions of people. Thank you. Thank you.